Welcome back, Fred in the Shed 2. Now over on my main channel, Fred in the Shed 1, I've been testing with the Nano VNA meter there, these Nagoda, or fake Nagoa, 771 antennas, which you can use on UV5R radios and sort of 2 meter 70 sem radios, things like that. Now what I found with my results was that they're very much hit or miss and they're borderline dangerous on the SWR. So I really can't recommend these for general use, even on a UV5R for transmitting, because if you've got a bad one, you could have a SWR of anything from five to six, so you could certainly damage the radio there. However, what about just receiving? If you just want to increase the dB and just in increase the sort of receive on these little radios, will it work? And in theory, it should. It's a longer antenna, so in theory, it should increase the receive. Whether that's going to work on a sort of, we'll say, if I'm tuning into 446 band or you're on 140 meg, something like that, or 144, um, I don't know, to be honest. But I just thought I'd give it a go because these UV5 hours. UV5Rs do come with the commercial FM broadcast band, so we can sort of test. Now, as a, it's quite handy to have an FM band built into the radio. I found it a little bit hit or miss with the standard antennas because well, it, these aren't tuned for FM, are they? They're dual band, two meter, 70 centimeter antennas. But on stronger radio stations, they do seem to work, and it's always quite handy just to maybe get the weather if you're out and about, or just get the news. The sound isn't very good, of course, because it's only got a very small little speaker. But I thought what I'd do for this, we've got uh, LBC 97.3, that is a London news station, so I won't get any copyright claims on that. Now, on the UV5R, any of my radios indoors, it can struggle to get 97.3 from London, I'm a little bit far out. And it's no different with either one of these UV5Rs. With a standard antenna, right in the very back of the box, if I hold the antenna there, there's a tiny bit of sort of signal coming through. Nothing on the sort of signal meter. So it's a bit of a foul with the standard antenna, but what I'm gonna do now, is we'll swap over to the fake NA771 and then we'll see what that brings in. Being a longer antenna, that should increase the gain. There you go. So it's still a little bit scratchy, but it has it has impro improved the gain now on FM. Um, one uh, and uh, yeah, um, it is working. There you go, just to prove that it's not a fluke, I've swapped it over to my little camouflage later UV5R. It works absolutely fine. Um, yeah, I think, so possibly, if, if you've just gonna use it as receive, you could go out buy one of these, I say from eBay, two or three pounds, take a chance. Not so sure about transmitting, but it does make it quite handy if you're just gonna have this at home. At least you can use it for the radio, hear the radio. Whether it would improve the PMR signals, I'm not so sure, I did some testing before and I felt it did improve PMR signals a little bit, but if you can't transmit on it because you're worried about high SWR, there's, there's, there's no point. You might as well just stick to the standard antenna that comes with the radio. But there you go, just a simple little test. Just thought I'd do that over on Fred in the Shed 2. I hope everybody is well. I hope you're all safe. I hope you're staying healthy. There we go. Cheers, there's the old thumb. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned, subscribe for more, and give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video, that helps. And yeah, catch you all on the next one. See you later.